Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making homemade French onion soup with a twist made in the Dutch oven with a Gruyere baguette. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. Now, as you might know, onion soup is almost as old as mankind, you know, um, obviously onions back in the days were plentiful, they were cheap and they were easy to cook. Now, we're doing this with a bit of a twist today, so I'm going to show you the ingredients in a second. And um, so we're putting a little bit of a twist on the original French onion soup. Um, now, obviously, you don't have to do this, but I think it adds a lot more flavor to the dish. And this is what we need for today. Now, I know it does look quite a bit, uh, but you only get about five portions out of this, so don't worry about it. But uh, without further ado, you need some unsalted butters, you need some beef fat, you need some yellow onions, and that's about two and a half kgs. You need your favorite beef rub, a couple of cloves of garlic, about a half a cup of dry sherry. You need some flour, some Worcester sauce, a baguette, obviously, some olive oil and Gruyere cheese. And then we're going to make our own beef stock. And what you need for it, you need about two liters of beef stock, uh, about a liter of water, you need a couple of diced carrots, diced celery, um, a couple of springs of thyme, leaf, parsley, uh, a little bit of pepper, and you need some short ribs, and these are some lovely short ribs from a young bull. Now you can use one, I'm going to actually use two. First of all, because I had them, secondly, because I want to really have that rich, beefy flavor in it. As usual, let's get the cutting out of the way and um, as we're going to strain the vegetables later on from the broth, so don't worry to cut them too thin. I did peel them though, um, but obviously if you wash them, that'll be fine. So that's for the carrots. And we're gonna do the same with the celery. And you need about, uh, let's say three quarter of a cup uh, to one cup of celery as well as carrots. But obviously, again, that's uh, just eyeballing it. You can, you can, I don't know. You can measure it however you like. And then with the garlic, very simple. You know, I mean, it might be a while until we actually use it. But let's get that out of the way as well. So you want to finely mince that because that will go into the soup later on. And then we're gonna take care of the onions. Now I've chosen sweet yellow onions, um, but you can use obviously any onion you like, but um, I really like the taste of these. So what you want to do is you want to obviously peel them, you know, and then slice them up into nice little slices um, to give them a great texture overall. So what you do is you half them and then you just slice them up. And you can go um, kind of like this. So you get these long ones um, or what you can do as well as you can also cut them across basically the grain uh, giving you a finer texture. And as we'll be cutting for a while I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to show you how they look like afterwards and what to do with the barbecue. Now the two Dutch ovens are preheating so um, we're looking for a um, temperature in the barbecue of about 230 degrees but we can already get started, so we're gonna take that butter, throw it in the larger of the two pots, as well as a little bit of that beef fat that we cut off earlier, and let that melt. Likewise, we're going to take um, the sh beef short ribs and give them a little bit of color, so we can already put them in, and let them sear a little bit. After about five minutes, the butter has melted and the fat has given off uh, a nice flavor. So I've removed the fat and um, the beef pieces have gotten some great color as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our onions to the butter. And don't worry, it looks like a lot, but it's all going to render down nicely and caramelize and it's going to be awesome. Now what you want to do is you want to turn down the heat underneath those onions because you don't want to caramelize them too quickly and you're going to use your favorite rub and just give them a good heap and then we're going to give all of that a good stir. Make sure that the rub spreads nicely all over those onions and they're going to get a good coating of the butter and fat mix. 
And obviously make sure you stir frequently because you don't want them to stick to the bottom and get too dark. And now let's get to our beef stock. So what you want to do is you want to obviously take beef stock from the supermarket and we're just going to add our own flavor to it with that additional beef. So that's going to be awesome. Now what you want in the end, you want to reduce it down to about two liter, uh, sorry, one liter of uh, very intense beef stock. So we need two liters of beef stock because obviously we want to reduce it down. I'm going to throw in our vegetables. Now obviously no onions because we have plenty of onions in there. Then the bay leaves, parsley, as well as the thyme. Just throw them in. Top up with a liter of water and now we let that simmer and reduce down. And in the end add a little bit of pepper to it. Now you can use two whole peppercorns. I prefer to have freshly ground pepper. I think it just adds a lot more flavor to the dish. All right, about 15 minutes later, let me just show you what's happening. So this is nicely bubbling away. So we're going to reduce the heat now on the stock. And obviously, yeah, make sure that you stir this every 10 to 15 minutes. But as you can tell, it has already removed down quite a bit. So we're on the right track here. All right, guys, it's been an hour. So let me just show you very quickly. So obviously the onions have uh, released a lot of moisture. So um, yeah but nothing is sticking to the bottom. I've stirred it every 10 minutes, so you should really do that as well. And then obviously over here, our very own beef broth is sizzling away or simmering away, I should say, um, very nicely. So I can't wait to taste that later on. So we're gonna let that uh, cook for another hour and then we'll see where we stand. Two hours are up. We've now nicely reduced our beef stock. So we're gonna take that off, strain it, and then we're going to move um, the onions into the hotter zone to make sure that the moisture evaporates and then we're going to move on. Right here we go. So got, I got my strainer. I've already removed the um, beef. So I'm going to show you what to do next with the beef in a second. So we're going to try to strain it without making too much mess. But guys, let me tell you, the smell is absolutely amazing. Now guys, check out those short ribs. Super nice, super juicy, super tender. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shred them up and that's going to give us that kick that we're looking for in our onion soup. Now I do know that the, in, the in the traditional um, French onion soup there is no actual uh, beef. But uh, I mean, we cooked it so would be a shame to throw it away. So we're going to shred that up and going to introduce it back into the meat. I mean, look at it. It's come off cleanly, so absolutely amazing. Technically you could just, you know, shred it by hand. So nice. All right guys, let's quickly take care of the bread. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut them into little slices. And as you can tell, the bread is a bit hard because I left it out. I wanted it to get a bit drier, um, even though it's a fresh bread from today, but I wanted it to have uh, a bit more bite to it. And then we're going to toss it in a little bit of olive oil and put it on the barbecue on a rack make sure that we get uh, yeah some color on it and um, some great flavors and we're gonna top it with the cheese that I've created and it's gonna be really nice so what we're gonna do just take one of those bowls you know just take a little bit of bread spread it about a little bit and then what you want to do is you're going to take a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle it all over a little bit you know give it a bit of a toss um, it doesn't have to be coated everywhere, but just, you know, that the olive oil gets everywhere a little bit. All right, guys, as you can tell, I've moved the onions over direct high heat. 
Now we're going to get rid of some of that moisture that's still in there, but now you really have to stick with your onions because you don't want them to burn on the bottom. But as you can tell, we're already moving in the right direction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in the garlic and let that cook off for a couple of minutes just to make sure that you get that sharpness off. About five minutes later, the garlic is now nicely in our onions. We're going to add the sherry. And let that cook off. And really make sure that all these lovely flavors combine. As you can see, I've already put on um, the bread and we're now getting to a consistency that I'm looking for. So we're going to put in about two tablespoons of flour just to thicken this up even more. Give it a good stir. And then we're going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce. <laughs> I guess everybody has their own way of saying it. So in with about a tablespoon. Give that a good stir as well. And now it has really nicely thickened up in the consistency we're looking for. We're going to add in the shredded beef. And as I said, I know traditionally there's no beef in our onion soup but frankly I don't care this is my soup so we're gonna do it that way all right we're gonna let that come up to a temp and then we're going to add the beef stock and um, I've actually managed to produce a little over a liter of beef stock but um, well it's better to have more beef stock than too little but if you have too little and you've reduced it too much you can just add a little bit of water to it it will not dilute uh, the result too much Time to add in the beef stock. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and then we're gonna remove it, cover it, let it sit there for a little while longer until the bread is ready. And obviously we still have to add the cheese to the bread. Now let's take care of the bread. So what I've done is I've turned this burner and this burner to full, turned off the one on the bottom and now we're going to add a generous heap of cheese on our bread and in order not to mess up the barbecue too much obviously I'm using a pan underneath. Now we're going to let that melt right on top of that bread and then we're almost ready to eat. All right guys we're all done so let's plate up. Nice onion soup the smell is amazing. And I think it really works if you add in the beef. It just adds a lovely flavor to it. The cheese has melted off the bread, so we're gonna put that on there as well. All right guys, that's it. And uh, now obviously for even more cheesy flavor, you can add a little bit of cheese over the top I don't think anybody will mind. And there we have it guys, our homemade French onion soup with a twist made in the Dutch oven with Gruyere baguette. And we're gonna dig in now. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the homemade French onion soup with a twist made in the Dutch oven with Gruyere baguette. Now it's super delicious, it's very filling. It does take some time. So, um, you know, you definitely have to account for that, but it's absolutely worth it. Now, um, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.